traditional luxury markets. And uh, after the Indians and the Chinese and the Brazilians and the Russians, and after they all had uh, their dishwashers and cars, etc., they were starting to get, of course, into the Louis Vuitton and the uh, Fords and the Gucci's and whatsoever. And it was important for, as it was for us, 30 years ago to show that we are affluent, that you know, we, we wanted to show the logos of the brands we were all of a sudden be able to surround ourselves. It's pretty much first stage luxury. The big merger happened with ITT Sheraton. Unbelievable. And it was a huge deal of the, you know, for our industry, as you can well imagine. So think about you have three companies. You got Starwood, who brings its real estate financial acumen. I heard him speak once when I was younger and he said, you know, the greatest inventions are doing things you do every day, doing them, making them easier. So they made a bigger tennis racket and I thought it was fantastic. Wood skis became, you know, uh, not wood skis, uh, composite skis that you don't break and crack. I keep, I maintain just two keyboards, but they control me. Like lot of, just a, a vast array of, of things that, you just keep that under wraps you, over here. You have it looks, looks like, like I've only got two. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, you just, I know, like, you, you, you can't just spend five years going at it and just stay that, that, one, that one guitar that you love forever. You just want to get... Our code of conduct and this training are intended to provide you with a system to reliably make ethical decisions, even in tough-to-navigate situations. I'm talking about those situations where you're afraid of getting into trouble, of not meeting your objectives, or not being successful. Those are the situations where good people sometimes do bad things. The goal here is to provide you with support so that even in the heat of the moment, you make the right decision and do the right thing. For me, you know, the, the best part of, um, you know, coming out here and hanging out with SPG guests is um, really kind of, it's not looking at a golf, I know that. It's, it's the look on their faces and the fact that I can interact with these guys um, really just I get to know them they get to see kind of a, a side of me that they wouldn't otherwise get to see we get to play wonderful golf courses we have a really clear vision for where we want this to go there's about 300 hotels in the design portfolio and we're going to bring them on really in batches as their owners sign up and come to our classes so by January we think we'll have 40 hotels that are online with SPG and part of our system and all throughout 2016 we can train between 30 and 40 hotels a month and we hope within 12 months we've got the large majority of their 280 hotels uh, in our system available to SPG. More closely together around that common goal um, that drives us. The, the desire to be first, the desire to win, the desire to connect with a customer, go that extra mile and create something that is truly differentiating is a spirit that defines all of the associates at Starwood. And whether we create an idea here centrally or a front desk associate delivers that benefit in one of our 1,300 hotels around the world. My favorite benefits with SPG are, are really what the points can offer. I mean, there's such a range of options with what you can do with them. It's not just an additional stay. And again, for those who travel a lot, we like to do things that are a little bit uh, different than the day-to-day. -day. So this, or going to the Academy Awards, or some of the other things that are out there are really a lot of fun and uh, add a lot of benefit to the experiences you have in life. Coming in, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning, they start the morning bake-off make sure the stuff is fresh in the store every day so when the customers come in. People are waiting outside. They're waiting outside. In, especially, yeah. especially in the summertime, you know, um, it seems like when the kids are out of school, that's when it really spikes here because, and this is where the show started. This is what everybody wants yeah, to see. Everyone comes and asks me, where is Carlos Bakery? Yeah. How far is it? How can I cut the line? How can I get in? Brittany, take me there. Yeah. You know. Well, the funny thing is sometimes people don't want to cut the line. They want the whole experience. They want to wait. 